Welcome to Wheel of Tech. For this video, we'll be reviewing the iPad Mini 5 one year after it was launched. Released on March 2019, the fifth generation of the iPad Mini follows the same old build and design of the previous iterations. The screen is also the same with the 2015 model, but it now supports DCI-P3 and True Tone display. From iOS 12, operating system has been updated last September to iOS 13, which is also known as the new iPad OS. The 7 nanometer A12 Bionic chip is still ahead among most of its competitors, which is evident on the very seamless experience when using the device. There's no update when it comes to the 8 megapixel rear camera. However, Apple upgraded the front camera which is from 1.2 megapixel to 7 megapixel f2.2. It now supports full resolution videos at 30 frames per second. Sound is decent but not as great as the iPad Pros. It's compatible with the AirPods, but if you prefer using wired headphones, you're lucky because it still supports the 3.5mm headphone jack. The Mini is also compatible with Apple Pencil first generation. So if you are a fan of writing, I highly recommend for you to purchase this as well. As for the battery, Apple says that it can last up to 10 hours of multimedia usage which is more than satisfactory if you are the type of person who charges your phone once a day. So if you're someone who wants to buy an iPad for entertainment content, wants to level up your mobile and gaming experience, but don't want to spend much for an extra device, maybe the iPad mini is the right iPad for you. It has a satisfactory front camera which you can use for video calls and selfies, and a chipset that can overkill most of the mid-range phones and laptops. Under this price range, you can also consider the regular iPad and the iPad Air. Both devices support the latest OS and projected to be continuously upgraded by the latest software for 3-4 to four years. So you don't need to worry about that since Apple is known for keeping their software support on their devices longer compared to other OS. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.